Hey everyone, it's Ollie from the Java Hub and welcome to your 14th beginner's Java tutorial. And in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to work with random numbers. Now as you can see at the top here I've already imported java.util.random and this is the class which allows us to generate random numbers. So the first thing we need to do is in order for us to work with this class we need to create an object of it. So we're going to make a random um, if I can spell it right, random, which is a new instance of this class, and we're going to name it R, and it's equal to new random. And we're going to make it static, so we're able to use it in our main method here. And now that we have our random object uh, named R, we can now use the methods from the random class to generate our random numbers. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a program that rolls a dice a thousand times, and then it's going to print to the screen how often it landed on each of the numbers. So to start out we're going to make some variables to store the amount of times it's landed on each number and we're going to name those int 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 and then we're going to make them all equal to 0 by saying 1 equals 2 equals 3 equals 4 equals 5 equals 6 equals zero. There we go. So we're just creating uh, six variables here and then making them all equal to zero. Now we need a for loop to make this to make our program run a thousand times and it's going to look like this for and if you remember in the for loop the first parameter is a count variable the second is how long the loop should run for and the third is whether you plus or minus your count and we're going to say int count equals zero to start at zero, then we're going to say count is less than a thousand, so this loop will run as long as the count variable is less than a thousand, then we can add one to the count every time the for loop runs by saying count plus plus. Now that our for loop is in place, we are going to need to create a random number, and we're going to name the random number dice, so int dice is equal to, now we need to access a method from our random class which is called r, or our random object rather, which is called R, and this method will uh, generate a random number. And we do this by saying R, which is our object up here, then doing dot and next int. And this will generate a random number for us, and as a parameter, we need to say what the. Um, in the parameters, we need to say what um, number we want to generate, as in it starts at zero and generate it from 0 to what? So we're going to say 6 because there's 6 numbers on the dice, except if we leave it as this it's going to generate a random number between 0 and 5 because there are 6 values in that. So, and we don't want it from 0 to 5, we want it from 1 to 6, so to combat this we just simply add 1. And now we need to make a switch statement, and this switch statement is going to add um, say if the dice lands on 1, it's going to add it to 1, if it lands on 2, to 2, and so on. So we're going to say switch, and we're testing what number the dice landed on. And in the case of it being 1, um, in the case of it being 1, we're going to add 1 to the 1 variable, and then break from the loop. And in the case of it being 2, we're going to add to the 2 variable, then break, oops, to break, and in the case of it being 3, we're going to add to the 3, and I need to add a plus plus to the 2, and break, and I always forget to put a semicolon, I don't know why, but make sure you do put your semicolon, case 4, add to the 4, then break, case 5, add to the 5, and break. And finally, in the case of it being 6, we add to the 6 variable, and then break. So, let me explain what is happening again to you guys. First of all, at the top here, we import java.util.random, and this is the class that generates random numbers. It's a built-in Java class. Then we've made um, a new object of the random class, um, and its name is R. 
and we make a new object so we can access the methods of this uh, random class. We've then created variables called 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, which are going to store the amount of times the dice has landed on that number, and we've just initially set them all to zero. Then inside a for loop, we've told the for loop to run a thousand times, and we've created an integer called dice, which is equal to a random number between 1 and 6. We've then made a switch statement, which is testing the dice value, as in the random number that the dice lands on. And if it lands on 1, it's going to add to the 1 variable. If it adds, lands on 2, it's going to add to the 2, 3, 3, and so on. And now, after all of this, we can just print out our results on the screen. So, system out print line. And I'm just going to copy this. Or oh, wait, I'll put in 1, make a string first, saying 1. And then plus the variable 1. Now I'm going to copy this six times, and then change the values 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then display the actual values of the variables. And in this case, these variables store the amount of times the dice has landed on the number, 6. Now if we run this, if I drag the output up here, we can now run and as you can see, our dice has been rolled a thousand times, and these are the amount of times it landed on each number. And we can run this again and again, and it will make new random values each time, as you can see. And um, random numbers can be very useful in the future for our future Java programs, such as games, things like that. But for now... Um, guys, that's it for this tutorial. Uh, make sure you understand what's happening here. If you don't, feel free to ask any comments in the or ask any questions in the comments or post them on my channel for them to be featured in the weekly Q and A. Um, and yeah, that's it for this tutorial, guys. I want to thank you all for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys later.